Hi folks and welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. What you see in the vise again is not my fly, this was tied expertly by Peter Dunn and I'm going to read the short description he sent with the fly. This one's called the Champion, another personal pattern that I have found to be superb during hatches of BWO size 14 or 16 or a 12 on the locks. In smaller sizes, I have used curved hooks for better presentation. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Now, once again, I don't have the exact materials that Peter has used, so I'll use what I have. In the vise is a Hanak H200 barbless hook. This one's at size 14. It's on a heavy wire, and it's finished in black nickel. Now, the thread I'm going to use is from Simplify, this is the classic watery olive at a toe. Now, I'm not going to add any wax or any super glue to the shank. I want to try and get this nice colour from the thread coming through the fly. So, using touching turns, I'm going to come up the shank. And you can help yourself by using your rat's tail just to force them turns in. Now, as I reach the end of my wraps, I'm just going to remove that and put an extra couple of turns in. Now, for the tail, I'm going to use some Coq de Leon that I have here. Uh, I'm not sh quite sure what Peter's used there, but it is a very small, fine fly, so I'll use the Coq de Leon. It's nice and thin and dress it up and I probably want about just shy off the shank of the hook. Try and catch that in and then I can bring my thread all the way back to the bottom of the fly. Remove the excess from the front and for the rib what I'm going to do is I've waxed up some brown olive thread and I'm just going to use that as the rib. Again, I can't really identify from the original pattern what the rib was. So I'm just going to use a thread rib. And the challenge comes now of making a nice, clean, neat body. Something like a UTC thread would probably be better for this but I just don't have this vibrant sort of colour in the UTC. With the 6 saw, it doesn't take too long to build a nice tapered body and I'll bring that up to the thorax area. Now the thread rib I can just bring around, it does give a similar sort of look to the original fly and now I've got that all the way up to the thorax I can trap that in with a couple of turns, a couple of turns in front and then I can come in and remove my waist. Now the tails sitting just a wee bit awkward but seems to have sorted that out. Now the next thing then is to add in our CDC. I'm going to be using some CDC from Troutline. Uh, it's very good quality and what you've got to try and do here is just get enough of the feather going back remembering that it is going to come over the front of the hook. I don't like to cut CDC where I can help it uh, I just think it, it looks better if you can finish it naturally. So I'll remove my waist like so. What I want to do next is catch in one strand of peacock hair. Uh, it's not the eye, it's just the, the stuff just below the eye. And I'll just remove the waist bit here and then I can catch that in. Bring it to the front. 
and then wrap your thorax round. Now on the original one that Peter sent, this has had a, it looks to me like somebody's took a rubber to it and uh, that, that's often a nice way of finishing peacock herald if you um, you don't want the the strands oh like so but I'm going to leave mine as is now next thing then is just to grab all that pe um, sorry called the canard the peacock herald is what I've just wrapped and bring that to the front of the hook and then I can get a couple of turns to lock it into place I'll get a couple of turns on the shank of the hook and then what I'm going to do is come in with my whip finish tool do a three turn quick finish and then I can take away my tying thread and on this occasion I'm going to have to cut the CDC just for aesthetics and there we have the champion it certainly looks like a fly that's going to catch fish to me uh, again thanks very much to Peter for sending the patterns with the notes it really has uh, been an education and it shows you how far I've got to go on my own fly tying journey when I see how well tied your flies are Thanks for watching folks and I'll see you all in the next one.